Previously on Rich Rebuilds. All right. You know what? Like John's getting ambitious. He's going to put it right in there. Yes, I am. Yeah. It actually looks pretty damn good, Stephen. Today on Rich Rebuilds. You look tired, Ray. I'm very tired. Why? I woke up in a cold sweat uh, because I don't normally do this, but I was reading the comments from the last video and a lot of people were, were frustrated and upset that we didn't decide to go with, with a belt drive. And the reason why we went with the chain drive because A, it's much simpler, it's more cost effective. This chain wasn't very expensive. This sprocket was literally $17 and the rear sprocket was like 50 or 60 or so. So it's a really easy and a quick setup, you know, for a relatively inexperienced person to convert gas motorcycle into, into an electric swap using chains. Not only that, but we're not really sure how the drivability with this motor is gonna be just yet because it's used to having this big honking, maybe 40 horsepower V-twin engine along with the transmission that you know did a lot of the torque multiplication for it. This will be direct drive, but we're not really sure where we wanna be in terms of top speed just yet. The sprockets allow us adjustability for low end grunt or top end power, and we could actually adjust the sprocket size accordingly. This is like a, I wanna say like a 12 or 13 tooth sprocket. And if we wanted to go bigger here, we could with relatively simply. Same thing with the rear. If we want a bigger rear sprocket, we get a higher top speed. Smaller front sprocket, we also get more torque. What's been racking around in my brain all night is that this will be loud. It's going to sound like a chainsaw. It's going to sound like the Cyber Quad did. This is a Harley Davidson and it should make some noise. And safety wise, motorcycles probably should make some noise anyways. I mean, I think so. I mean, you, you ride bikes. I mean, I ride bikes too. Actually, speaking of comments, one of my favorite ones was somebody said we should use a speaker and overlay the South Park. <laughs> We could, we could do, do that. that. We could do that. We're going to do that. I won't claim that as my original thought because nope. it was not. We will also not give the person that said it any credit whatsoever. Well, I, I, We're actually going to delete that comment. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll well. And then say it was our own. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> just like Elon Musk. Kidding. Well, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm kidding. Well, I'm kidding. You know, are you to be fair, though, he, did, yeah. he didn't find Tesla. Uh, he, he was already there. Yeah, when he yeah, PayPal existed. Yeah, right, right, just, right, just, right, just yeah. kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. The person that brought it up, it, it is a good idea. Having a uh, a belt drive instead of the chain drive, it'll make it a very, very spelt bike we'll probably get killed on a lot faster because no one's gonna hear us coming at all. And also with the with the belt drive with the sprockets, it's a lot more difficult to get the adjustability front and rear. Like for example, on this bike, there's only one size rear sprocket and for the front, there's really only one or two size sprockets. Your adjustability is very limited and this is all for the sake of being quiet. Now here's the thing, in the comment section also, I said, oh, you this, really went in there. I really went in there. They said it was gonna be a very easy thing to do. I should bring this sprocket, this belt dry sprocket that I got off the transmission to a machinist and they could do this in 15 minutes. Mm. All right, I'm gonna screenshot that, con that comment right now. So when I pulled this off the transmission, we have a little problem on our hands here. A, there's no keyway. This is a spline drive That's and right. it's also far too big. Is that like? A toothpick uh -huh. in a, a volcano? That's a hot dog in a hallway. Is that what that is? What we're gonna do, Stephen, we're actually going to find a machinist that can do this for us in 15 minutes because he said, the random commenter said, it can be done. This is the problem we're facing too with this project. We don't wanna just have this project linger for too long either because we have other really exciting stuff in the pipeline. And this is one of the things going from the chain drive, which is this is all set already, to the belt. That's gonna set us back a bit, all because we listen to the comment section. But we we love our people. We listen to our people. It's now becoming a community build. Yeah. No one's helping us, but yeah, no one's helping us. Um, let's they see, have they labor, will give us insight. Labor or financially, no. no, no. But they they will give their opinion, and we're taking their opinion into into account now. And now uh, adapting this is gonna take, um, I think, more than fifteen minutes. You you could do this as a fifteen minute job, but will it, it, it won't last. No. Also, we're not really sure just how much power this is going to give us because, again, this is a larger sprocket than what we had on here before. What do you think? <laughs> Tell me the man think? that's going to just yeah. weld that on there and but, it's going to be perfectly in the middle. But it's all for the sake of being quiet. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to hit this with a machinist, mm -hmm. like you suggested, and they're going to get it done in more than 15 minutes 
for probably more than a hundred dollars too. Yeah. So thank you. Are they gonna help pay for this financially or? I don't think so. No, probably not. Okay, so so social experiment. Yeah. Community we'll bike build. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Community bike build. <laughs> Just suggesting, suggesting, suggesting. No money. No money. Suggesting, 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 suggesting. Yeah. Oh. All right, cool. Actually, what we should do? We should send the sprocket out to him. Maybe we send it to him. Maybe he could find a machinist that'll get it done in 15 minutes. What do you think? And you got some salt in your cracker today, or what? <laughs> <laughs> in other good news here. The batteries have come in. Three of the four batteries that will go in this void. We went with a 72 volt system. It's a total of four batteries, totaling 100 amp hours. The zero battery pack that goes in most zero motorcycles is about a little bit under 100 amp hours mm -hmm. in some cases. This should give the bike some serious punch in order for it to accelerate as quickly as it can. There's no wiring to add to these. This is a yeah. plug and play solution. We wanna show you a simplified version of how to do this. You can build your own batteries for sure. But again, if you wanna get this done in the time frame we allotted for it, we don't wanna do that. This is gonna take a lot longer. These are already sealed and waterproof. And now it's just a matter of mounting the batteries in the frame. As you can see by this white cream on top. It's white cream. White cream. It's That's white, white waterproofing cream. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, also we, we have to wrap the batteries because they're blue and it doesn't go with the theme. So we have to get rid of the cream. No you wanna get rid of the cream too? No more cream pies. <laughs> After recutting the tank here, this is what it's looking like. We've put in three of the four battery packs. We're testing out what their fitment is. What do you think of those? Take it a few words. Um, I'm just cutting with no guard, don't mind me. There'll be a fourth battery in there. It can be a total of 100 amp hours, which should be good for, in terms of range. We're figuring out whether or not 72 volts is gonna be enough. I think it will be considering how much weight was removed from this motorcycle. Mm -hmm. I think it should move along pretty good. But again, still figuring that part out. Uh, it looks like we're gonna be going back with the belt drive. It'd be nice to have a smaller drive sprocket again, but we'll see how it turns out. It might be a similar ride to the engine that it replaces, just a lot more torque. A lot more torque and a lot quieter. No more shifting, just one gear and you just crank it and go. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You got it, guys. Grip it and rip it. Grip it and rip it. I mean, that, that hurts, but. Come and go. Don't you feel like an old seaman when you hold that lantern? I you know, do. does it, it just, it's like just I'm like, like, yeah. Going down a really like dark hallway. <laughs> the, yeah, in the back of the ship. Absolutely, I do. So, do we need to go deeper? Go a lot deeper, yeah. Damn Unfortunately, it. there isn't enough depth. This is a, a four Oof. and a half inch cutting wheel and it can't get in there. So we need a, a bigger wheel or we need to buy Harley Davidson special tool. It's a probably like an inch and a half nut. That's also an extension. It probably costs as much as the battery. Seriously. So I'm like, no, nah, it's not going to happen. I'm going gonna, <laughs> I'm I'm to cut this thing off. And normally I'd be like, okay, we shouldn't cut this, but it's fine because this nut, it won't make much of a difference on this because it's, that's not how it's going to be mounted. We have to end up machining it to, to get it to fit on that shaft of the motor. So. And you know what doesn't cut your nuts? What? Here you go. Thanks. Oh! Didn't cut me though, did it? No. Steven, if you're a man like me and you enjoy quality for your bathroom products, look no further than Manscaped. This is the new and improved Lawnmower 4.0. Look at this beautiful product, Steven. Look at this. It is, it it's is, super it's quiet. Like, it's like a Cybertruck. There's actually one time that I was in, at a baseball game and I felt the need to trim Steven. I actually used a baseball game in a stall. I'm the first. <laughs> <laughs> I should Is it a date? <laughs> well, kind of why else would you do that? I, mean, I was, I, I had to yeah. groom yeah. as I, emergency grooming. You know okay. what I mean? I wasn't feeling very fresh. And I used this in the solve of a baseball game at Fenway Park. And it was awesome because no one <laughs> wait, heard me Wait, 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 time out. What? Fenway has the giant tubs. Trough? No, yeah. no, no, I, I actually use the stall. <laughs> oh. That's right, fellas. This one device that manages all here. This is the one device that manages all of your hair. Up hey. here and down there. Is that, is that a ceramic blade? This is a ceramic blade. It has the skin safe technology, which really helps reduce nicks and cuts. And the blades can be easily replaced so you can groom your body with confidence. And confidence is key. Confidence is When you're thing. approaching a lady or shaving your body here. And then Steven has a powerful 7,000 RPM motor, Steven. 7,000 RPMs, a 4,000 K LED spotlight. Also included in the Performance Package 4.0 kit are two products I never knew I needed until now. The Crop Preserver, and the liquid deodorant and the crop reviver toner spray. Simply just add the crop preserver after your shower in the darkest and dampest of regions for all day body odor protection. What are you doing? I, just some grooming. 
get 20% off plus free international shipping with my code manscaped.com. Use code RICHR. Be a better way to do. It. <laughs> be a better way to do this. It yeah. really is, but there's, uh, no, there's no better way. Right. I mean, for for what we have for tools here and now, I mean. So we've got everything to bare metal so that we can weld on our exoskeleton. Oh, cool. So yeah. battery, battery box though? Oh, oh. For, for three or all four? All four. Could that fit in the frame somewhere? I made a mock up so we could play around and see what will fit nicely in here. So the other option B, once again, we only have three of the four packs. We've made this box and we're trying to figure out if we can run them all in parallel with each other and kind of have it built up right in front of the motor itself. Looks like it'll be able to clear both the uh, rear brake and the non-existent clutch, which we may put something else there for the time being. I'll tell you more about that much later on. This could actually do the trick and it'd be a lot cleaner, a lot easier, and then even just for wiring and testing in the modules. So, motor is in. Now uh, we'll see. Huh, looks like there's some room for activities. That is about where the tank will rest. Obviously, these will not be here, go under there. The only key aspect now will be to take the exoskeleton Ducati framing that we're gonna do and bring it further out. If we do run it in parallel like this, it's out about two and a half inches. Might have to slightly modify what we've got for our design. All in all, it's looking pretty good. What are your thoughts and feelings there, Pizza Boy? Mmm. That looks delicious. Every Wait a minute, is that? I'm not gonna say it. That's pineapple on that pizza. Mine business. <laughs> Everyone that shits on pineapple pizza, I don't get negativity in my life right now. Well, this, is, this is delicious ass pizza. They have to remember you're from the islands, so. <laughs> What's that do anything? <laughs> Can we slide it back more or no? What's that? The motor, can we slide the motor back? Um, so now, that, now, that he, now that that tab is cut for the uh, reverse switch, the brake switch, it can go back more. Steven, you're like GE. You bring good ears to life. Good ears? <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Steven, you're like GE. You bring good ideas to life. Oh. See? Look. Look. Well, you know, you here we do something, <laughs> you cut some tubes with the tape. I think it looks pretty good. Put some, put some cardboard and some, yeah. It looks good. The only issue with that is, is now that we've decided ultimately to change the form factor with the battery box, this is gonna bust out of here like the Kool-Aid, man. Seriously, yeah. Well, like, you know, the little problem, you have the Pillsbury, pop them with the spoon to go, Poof. those are scared the <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, when you have it, cinnamon rolls? Yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're just waiting. You're yeah. just waiting for the... Anymore. Really? I don't like so, so you don't even eat cinnamon rolls anymore? No, are, I, are, I do. As long as they're fresh, already fresh from the bakery. I don't. Wow, you're classy. Pretty packaged. No, that's that's fair. I, I I respect that. So what we're gonna need to do is, is find a way to have this come out. So yeah. the part that's here for the motor is fine. We could solve this in in two moves. This piece, mm -hmm. if we cut notch this so that that pulls out, and then if we put a bracing piece that's up here that pulls these tubes further outwards. Yep. That way we'll be able to get the surface area needed to fill in with the battery box that this will be able to fit and this will be able to pull out. These we can do uh, the path of least resistance where we won't have to notch and do all the different types of tubes. So you want to have this kind of, how, how's it, so this is going to come out at an angle slightly then go mm -hmm. in. So this one, this one, if we, if we do it from like a side profile, this will be two different pieces. One that comes out like this and then it comes back inwards. Oh, I see your side. Okay. And then this will just have a piece that pulls out of here. Yep. And then comes down. So that way we can continue with this very minimal 
very Ducati strike off of a design, but you know, mm -hmm. isn't art imitating art from somewhere else always? Seriously, like no one, no one, nothing's original. Like a car? Whoa, I made a car too. You know what I mean? Wow. You made a car too. There's yeah. a million cars. Yeah, well, if you were the first, then then good on you. Yeah, no but, one cares anymore. Was it, wasn't it like Mercedes Daimler, da Daimler Benz make the first car? Was that it? Who cares? <laughs> It's not like a bitter buffalo on that yeah, one. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I mean, yeah, you know. No, but, but, just, to, just to pump the fanboys up, I mean, Tesla sells more cars now than... All of them combined. Seriously. Yeah, oof. So much that they actually had to discontinue making their, their long-range model. The cheap one. Oh, no, 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 the, the mid-range, the middle-range one. Because yeah. it's, it's the standard range, you know, the right. short range that you don't, nobody really wants. Right. Performance, which is too expensive. Right. And then there's the long-range, and they cancel the long-range, forcing you to either sacrifice your range... They're not stupid. Or they spend more money. They're mm, not stupid. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. An explosion of sales. Of hey, I'm so three. sorry. We we can't have any more of those. Yeah, we can't so. make that anymore. We can't make what people really want. That's right. And full self driving goes up to like 15k. Is and it enough? yeah. Remember when it was like three or five grand? Yeah. Damn. Mm. Do you use it often? Yeah. Really? Is it worth 15 grand? Yeah, I got it back in the day buffet for sure. Yeah. No, Is it worth it? 15 grand. <sighs> Anyways, this looks kind of fugly in, in cardboard and yellow tape. I think it looks but... cool as hell. Okay, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're excited. I'm, I'm really excited. I, I almost want to leave this exposed and just have it rust, like Harley's do. Just kidding. Or if, if enough oil gets on it, it won't rust at all. We're gonna rub these in with the oil. Actually, the second you weld it to the frame, the oil in the frame <laughs> seep <laughs> out and, and <laughs> just <laughs> honestly, it's just. <laughs> so that's where we're at, and that hides and makes it not everything look so awkward of just battery box, motor, controllers hidden. Yeah, it's coming along. That should be the default location. When you go round, round, round. Oh look, more grinding. Can you believe it? Shocking. We took a poll and people love to see grinding more than anything else. Is that true? This whole build, the whole thing. That's what yeah. they want to see more than anything. What do you love? No, banter? No. Grinding? Yes. So here you have it, shiny metal to grind. Oh, thank God. So, so well done. Yeah. The bottom bracket kind of bows in here, so this is to have an extension to build this out for the motor. And because the battery box is going to be quite wide, mm -hmm. so it's going to be like this. And this is going to come around, Ooh. connect into here Ooh. to go right around your rear brake. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have another tube on opposite of that angle to come into here. And then while well, everything you saw in cardboard. So I like it. Now we're just it. making it a reality since, you know, we can't ride on cardboard. Wait, isn't there a song? You make my dreams come true. Who sings that song? The Hollow Notes? Yeah. 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 That's a good song. So are we getting to have to play on flute now? Yes, we do. Steven, talk to me. All right, so we're making the angle iron for our frame for the battery box. Mm -hmm. I've already cut these two down there, and then unfortunately, the other ones, well, there's no other way to cut it except to uh, put it in your vise, take this, and... Uh, that blade's gotten a little small. I've been using that thing a lot today. Well, huh? you know, I mean, it's, it's definitely gotten its use, but this is, there's better, again, there's better ways to do this. There are. But... But why do it that way? This is a way more fun. <laughs> Precarious is the word you were looking for. And then it drops. Mm -hmm. There you have it. 
I'm just watching the sparks fly next to the paint cans. Isn't it, it isn't it something? We'll weld that all up nice, and that'll fit all four of our battery modules in there. The master cylinder for the brake over here. That we'll probably have to relocate, but this tray, so that's not in the way. I want to make another bracket part that's going to be there so that it's level to match for the back. I'm using the motorcycle lift from Ranger. Thanks, Ranger. Mm, this will be easier. Well, we've got a blend between metal and cardboard right now. I think it looks pretty good. More than pretty good. It's one way to put a design in there to kind of give the aesthetic. That looks like a rib cage. Waiting on that sprocket. That should have taken 15 minutes. Still, still waiting on that. So it's been 15 days. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, thank you, kind stranger. But yeah, let's keep plugging away at it. Yep. Gotta weld some more bars in, and then the other side is the hardest part where you have to attempt to make a removable cage. Right. Which is even more challenging. So this side will look pretty and neat. Everything will be welded in, shut in place, and the other side will have all the accessibility to get. You take your tank off to get to your controller, pull out your batteries, pull out your motor. In case you need to, if anything goes faulty. But this side, purely aesthetic. Where's Rich? I don't know where Rich is. Hello there. I bought another Corvette, but hear me out. I want to start a business where I sell old Corvette parts to people that collect them. And I want to start that business using ShipStation. ShipStation is super easy because they make it super convenient. They automate a lot of processes that are time intensive and we don't have time for a lot of things, unfortunately. It's a great idea to actually send out parts for builds that we don't need using ShipStation. It's super easy to work with all the carriers. You get discounts for UPS and USPS. And heck, they even work on storefronts like Amazon, eBay, and Etsy, which saves us a boatload of time so we can have more time for me to purchase more Corvettes. I'm like 100,000 other sellers that use ShipStation for growing businesses. You even get the same discounts that they've reserved for Fortune 500 companies. And honestly, we're not in the top 500 of anything and we don't have a fortune either. Go to ShipStation.com slash Rich Rebuilds. For your free 60 day trial ShipStation. And I like to say, make ship happen. All right, sir, you can stop filming and return my car, please. I gotta run. All right, it's some ridiculously late hour, but here we have probably our final resting place for the design of the exoskeleton that kind of cradles in the motor and the batteries. Okay. This pleases you. This pleases me because it's, I always thought that it needed something there because what most people do is they just stick a motor and a battery into a, into a motorcycle and they say, and they rub their hands together and say, okay, we're all set here. Like, not, like, look at this. So Google search right now, electric motorcycle conversion. That's what 99 point, I would dare say all of them do. Mm -hmm. Even for the minimalistic cafe racers, what they'll do is they'll cut part of the frame and they'll just have this massive box of a battery just sticking down to about here. Just kind of wasted space, it's like a right. big square. So this actually makes it look good. Like there's stuff to look at. And we talked about earlier, I was like, the second we pulled that engine out, you were bothered. I was like, this doesn't look good. But some people think it looks good. It's like, oh, well, it's minimalistic. It's, there's no more right. complicated engine in there. No, I mean, the, a V-twin is, let's be honest, uh, albeit it's slow. It's slow. It's a pretty good looking engine. It's also leaking oil right now. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's one, once a reminder, yeah. it's yeah. still leaking. I don't understand. It's a Harley. So, so this looks infinitely better. It looks like we actually put thought into the design. And as you said, it's very, Ducati-esque. It's a style that I've always appreciated. The only change uh, I'm still kind of wrestling with, to add another type of piece here, you know, like a build out here or another one here, tessellate it more and more and overcomplicate it. Yeah, but then I feel like on. once you add one, you're gonna want to add another. Right. There's a lot of ways to go about it. Yep, and that's why you'll see most bike manufacturers like uh, Zero or even the Harley-Davidson Livewire, uh, they don't leave just the battery and motor there. Right. Like you tell that there's actually a stylistic sense around the battery pack to make it look more desirable and not just like, hey, it's an EV, it has to be ugly, like the Nissan Leaf. I hated the first iterations of Zeros and then yep. the, the latest one that they did. Yes. Again, they went with the naked bike yep. theme and it looks awesome. They hired a styling team. <laughs> it's like they hired a designer. They did. They, they did. did. You could tell they did. Yeah. It looks great. And then we also hired a designer here, which is 
which is Steven. There you go. Try and it looks, and honestly, it looks, it's, that's pretty much spot on, you know? We have to make do with what we have because this is almost like a fantasy and a suggestion because when we work with the actual metal, right. we'll realize in some cases we can't put things where we want. Like we wanted to have this tube a little bit further up, but we can't, when you turn the bike all the way to the right, it would crush it in right. some certain sense. Yeah. Some sense. So it just wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, this is why people hate architects that just do things on paper and then be like, oh, you can't do it that way. Yeah, right. We can't be rigid here because, right. you know, there's a lot to uh, to work with. Because, again, from the beginning, we, we were assuming that this could be a flat plane, but then where the motor and the batteries were kind of bulking it out, it's like, mm -hmm. okay. And it looks better this way. Way you better know, the, that way. The, the final design is actually, I, I like that. I think once this is all black or whatever color, some uniform color, it's mm -hmm. going to look really good. Yeah. And as you can see, I took off the uh, the front lights. The front lights are over here. Uh, these don't make any sense. Now, this was back in the day, way back in 1997, when lights sucked. Because there was a center light right in the middle. Remember the center light? It was a seven inch center light. And they needed these accessory lights and turn signals because they didn't know, really know about LEDs or like how to light things up really well then. Yeah. And now there's a single seven inch LED light that casts way more light than these halogens ever could. Right. So I'll be getting rid of these, going to a center light right in the middle. And not even having to, do you need turn signals? Use your hands. Boom, boom. Left, right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need these ambers. You don't. No one needs that no, ever. No one should have ambers ever. No one no. should have amber lights. Uh, and then the other thing is we actually removed all the gauges in the cluster as well. All except for the speedometer. Uh, we have two here and two here. We're debating what we want to do for this one. I think for these four, I may have the individual voltages of each battery. Mm. And then for this might be an information display. You uh, found a really nice one amperage. as well that had the, the battery um, yeah, charge had, on it. It had a battery charge readout on it. It had uh, how many amps you're using, watt hours, and also runtime as well. So it actually could be pretty cool. Are we still going to talk about this? Yeah, so thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you guys next week. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But you know like John Travolta? We could die. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's a good meme. Good meme. Fine meme. And thank you for the person that suggested we go with the belt drive. We listened to you, and now the bike is going to cost a lot more money and take a lot more time to finish. Yeah, so, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. You know? Thank you again. Thank you. Mm. Thoughts and prayers. Remind me to listen to <laughs> <laughs> the peanut gallery. Yeah, remind, remind me to do that more often. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Well, that's enough. All right. See you.